The world of the royal seems equal parts alluring and fabulous for many people, but they do have to adhere to quite a few rules to be a part of the family. And the beauty rules in particular are super strict. Here are some of the beauty guidelines royals are forced to follow. It's understood that members of the royal family shouldn't go crazy with their hair. The royals want to set a tone of professionalism and seriousness, so natural and tame hair is required. According to Vogue, royal members' hair should look effortlessly and naturally beautiful, silky smooth, and neat, even when pulled into a ponytail. Unlike many celebrities, royals are never spotted out and about looking anything less than perfect. Since Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle joined the royal family, have they ever been seen wearing sweatpants with no makeup and their hair in a greasy bun? Never. Oh my god, it's crazy. According to Vogue, while Markle might be known for her low bun with a few strands framing her face, it's still clean, simple, and put together, so she isn't breaking the rules. Additionally, according to Us Weekly, Middleton has been known to get her hair blown out three times a week to keep it always looking perfect. When it comes to makeup, the royals have a few strict rules to follow. While women in the royal family wear makeup and are not often seen without it, that doesn't mean the queen is okay with dramatic smoky eyes or bright eyeshadow. Eye makeup must be kept simple. Even at her wedding, Kate Middleton, who famously did her own makeup for the big day, stuck with neutral eye makeup, and according to Harper's Bazaar, she also keeps it simple on a daily basis. As much as the queen prefers to keep things muted in the world of beauty, there's no denying the fact that she loves lipstick. In fact, according to Harper's Bazaar, the queen insists on lipstick for the ladies in the family, but only in muted shades. The publication explained, There is a reason why you'll never see the duchess rocking a bold red lip or a bright berry color. It isn't really in protocol to go above nude or pink. Although Queen Elizabeth has a signature pink lip, the rest of the royal court steers clear of bright colors. So while royals Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton may stick to muted shades of lipstick, the queen can do whatever she wants. Hey, she makes the rules. Considering how the royals feel about things that aren't always picture perfect, it's understandable that hairspray would be an important product to have on hand. In fact, according to Harper's Bazaar, hairspray is a must-have. Regarding Kate Middleton's hair, the magazine shared, This one is a relative no-brainer. When she is out on an engagement, Catherine is representing the queen, so she always has to look put together. This means no unstyled hair, no makeupless face, and no messy ballet buns. In fact, Marie Claire reported that the Duchess used a budget-friendly hairspray to achieve her perfect glossy waves. Additionally, a London jewelry expert told Town & Country that hairspray helps tiaras and other jeweled hair pieces stay put. Just because the royal family has to follow a lot of beauty rules doesn't mean that they can't have some fun when it comes to expressing themselves. Their hair should always look tame, but they don't have to wear the exact same style every day. In fact, according to Harper's Bazaar, it's kind of a rule that royals shouldn't wear the same exact hairstyle all the time. The magazine noted, when it comes to her hair, Kate Middleton never keeps it the same way for long. The constant switching up means she always has a fresh look. Members of the royal family must take great care of their skin. No matter what royal skincare routines are specifically, it's of the utmost importance that they keep their faces looking healthy, clear, and glowing. According to Birdie, facials can be a part of royal's routines. Additionally, Meghan Markle told Allure in 2014 that she places a lot of value on skincare, and that was before she was a royal. She explained, the one thing I cannot live without when I'm traveling is a small container of tea tree oil. It's not the most glamorous thing, but if you get a cut, a mosquito bite, a small breakout, no matter what it is, it's my little cure-all. It's inexpensive, it's small enough to carry on, and I bring it with me all the time. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.